let me let me give you a a sense of what it's like to be me having this conversation. <laughs> um, I mean, it seems to me we could have been having this conversation 500 years ago, and you know, life was difficult 500 years ago. There was a lot of despair. There were um, you know, crops failed and and disease spread and uh, people suffered just just instantaneous and catastrophic changes in their their fortune. Uh, and it was well under the cause of all of this actually was well understood 500 years ago. It was witchcraft. <laughs> and, and happily, the, the church had produced some very energetic men who, who had the gumption to deal with this problem. Uh, and so every year, some hundreds and, and sometimes thousands of women were burned alive for uh, casting spells on their neighbors. Now, uh, imagine what it would be like to be among the, the five or the ten percent of people at most who, who recognize that the, the very belief in, in magic, the very belief in witchcraft, the, the very belief in good, good witches or bad witches was a, a malignant fantasy. Uh, that 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 the the you know the white witches who were who were helping people with medicinal herbs and practicing midwifery, uh, you know th they were no on no firmer ground than the black witches who were who were casting the evil eye. Uh, the whole belief system was uh, at fault. Um, imagine the kind of criticism you're going to get. No, no, your problem is just with kind of fundamentalist witchcraft. Uh, the, 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 the 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 reality is is that. Witchcraft is far more nuanced than that, and there's no, there's no, there's, there's no conflict between science and witchcraft. I mean, you know, science deals with, with physical law and, 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 and physical causality, but witchcraft deals with, with potent spells and, and um, the internal connections between things. Um, uh, this idea that somehow we shouldn't call into question uh, these, these patently bad ideas for fear of offending people, for fear of uh, glossing over their despair, uh, uh, for fear of, of, of not criticizing other problems in the world. I would never argue that religion is the only problem in the world or the only uh, source of human conflict, but it is a source, uh, and we are mightily attached to it, uh, emotionally attached to it. Uh, and uh, we are loath to criticize it even when it is declaring its uh, uh, ugliest intentions and its, uh, and its, and its ugliest certainties. Uh, the problem with the Bible is, is whether, where, however you pick and choose, you, whether you're a literalist or a selective literalist, the problem is there's a, just a, a mountain of divisive nonsense in there, and that's where people get ideas about homosexuality be, being an abomination and why our country in the 21st century debates gay marriage as though it were the great moral issue of our time. This is coming from religion, and uh, it seems to me that it's time we had an, on, an honest conversation about that. Hey.